It is the first digital laser designed this century. It is the first and only FDA clearance for a specific periodontal protocol. It's not the only FDA cleared laser. It's the only FDA cleared laser used to treat a patented protocol. That is the difference and that is why just because someone is, has a laser in their office doesn't mean that they can treat periodontal disease the way I treat it with this machine. So that's really, really critical. And actually, that's one of the big points about this is that it's patented because it works and it's cleared for that specific purpose. So that's a drawing of what it's like to use a laser. You know, you just stick the fiber down and boom, you know, presto is just a little magic thing. It really isn't, but it's not magic. But it really is this kind of effect in the tissues. You get, it, it is a sort of a radiating effect, and that's as good a, a drawing of it as I could find. So why does this work so well? The thing about the NDAG laser is that it is attracted to pigmented bacteria. And the red complex is all pigmented bacteria. So immediately, with the use of this laser, you're getting rid of the worst bugs you can get rid of. And you're doing all of it without bothering healthy connective tissue. Because it sees that the healthy connective tissue is the wrong color. So the connective tissue doesn't absorb that laser light, so nothing happens to it. So can you imagine? You can get rid of the disease and keep the healthy tissue. That's huge. Now, I'm pretty good with the scalpel, but I can't pick which bacteria are the bad bacteria, and I can tell you I am certain that I have cut healthy connective tissue, and that's just the way it is. But with a laser, I don't have to worry because it sees for me. Now, that's a paradigm shift. I said to you earlier that none of this matters if it doesn't work. None of it matters if I just get up here and say, you know what, this is really cool. This is so cool that I use it every day and it's fantastic. But I don't have any proof that it works. All I have proof of is that it's cool. Well, that's not good enough. You know, you can't, you can't work on people and experiment. You can't, you can't use products that don't work. You, you can't use products that aren't proven. You can't use products that don't have any scientific backing. You can't use products that don't have any university studies or independently studied aspect to them, in my opinion. I personally or professionally cannot use something like this in my office if I don't see any scientific evidence. So there's a gentleman up in the right corner. He was the head of periodontics at LSU. Now he's the head of periodontics at the University of Colorado in Boulder the Department of Periodontics at the University of Colorado in Boulder. And he has done a study, a human study. And his name is Ray Yagna. Took six patients, two teeth per patient. I didn't bother to tell you what LANAP stood for, so I'll tell you now. It's laser-assisted new attachment procedure. So all six of the teeth that received treatment with the laser, with the NDAG laser, who received the LANAP protocol, the patented protocol, had what is called new attachment, which is an absence of, the long junctional, of, of a long junctional epithelium. Now, let me say that new attachment is the absolute, positively gold standard of periodontics. There is nothing I can do without the goal being that I get new attachment. Here's the problem. There's no technique that will give you new attachment because everything heals with a long junctional epithelium. Not just for me, for everyone because that's just biology. So new attachment is something that we strive for 
in every technique that we utilize, but it's very, very difficult to achieve and in fact, maybe not achievable, except this shows new attachment. So that makes it really, really special. So on the right are the control teeth with scaling and root planing. And on the left are the Lanap treated teeth with bone. Nothing proves the point better than histology. Because if you don't have human, human histology and you just say, well, it seems to me that this is the best we can do, or it seems to me that this is what you should be doing, that doesn't mean anything. This is what has meaning. And this right there is new attachment. That is new cementum, new periodontal ligament. That's new attachment as opposed to scaling root planning histology. All this is is inflamed tissue with no attachment. This will ultimately heal with a long junctional epithelium. That's fine, because that's the best we can do. That's the biology. But what the laser did was it changed things. It made everything stick. So it did what nothing else really can do. Now, there have been other things that people have tried to show new attachment. You know, iliac crest bone, different freeze-dried bone products. You know, there are people out there who, who do this kind of work and they have histology like this and they'll say, oh, my technique works. Well, it may work. It works for them. That doesn't mean it'll work for me. The issue is, can this work for just about maybe everyone who uses this laser? Because if it just works for a couple of people, it really doesn't matter. And that's the whole problem in dentistry. You've got to have something that works for everyone. So here's what the NDAG laser does. Removes epithelium and leaves the connective tissue reedy pegs intact. It kills periopathogens. It alters the composition of calculus. It neutralizes endotoxins in cementum. It has a biostimulation factor. And most importantly, as I'll show you, it establishes a stable fibrin clot. That's kind of gross. Those are poached eggs. And the idea behind me showing you this is, is that this is what the laser does to the blood in the PDL. It is a poaching action which makes a fibrin clot. And this is what makes a seal, okay? So what we are doing is, if we can create a clot and we can localize the PDL and we can localize the cells in the PDL, let's call them progenitor cells, which they really are, and we can make them grow, that's how we get our new attachment. So LANAP equals new attachment, cementum, periodontal ligament and bone, which is extremely unique in periodontal therapy. Very briefly, we probe, we make a pass with the laser, occlusal equilibration, very important. We don't want smacking on the teeth because it affects the PDL. That's where all the healing comes from. So we do a lot of occlusal equilibration just to keep things calm with the PDL. This is the protocol. This is what gives it the outcome. I can't deviate from this. If I'm treating someone, like tomorrow morning, I'm not going to wake up tonight and think, well, you know what, I think I, I know a better way. I can't do that. This is the protocol. It's the protocol tomorrow morning and every morning that I turn that machine on in my office. If you don't deviate, the thing will work. 